Zach Solis, um, Z-A-C-H, S-O-L-I-Z. I'm your public education officer for the city of Davenport. Davenport Fire. So Zach, tell, tell us a little bit about the demonstration and, and, what, and really what the effects of a fireworks accident can be. Yep, this visualization is to put out there the, the hazards that could happen. Um, one of the displays had the hot dogs um, with simple fireworks and how those exploded. Um, those could be related to our fingers. Um, they had another one, they talked about sp uh, sparklers in general and the temperatures those can reach. Uh, 1200 degrees is what that can reach to. So when we're handing those off to children, that's a huge consideration for us. Um, they get so hot and a quarter of all injuries related to this time with fireworks related to sparklers themselves. Um, one of the demonstrations they had uh, was with the watermelon. That didn't actually go off. And that's a perfect example of not relighting a dud. That's when those hazards happen. So having a bucket of water, having a garden hose, having something available to extinguish that, letting it go and moving on to something else um, when the time's appropriate. And then I think there's a visual visualization of uh, what can really happen with a big explosion. And it showed quite a bit there. So this message is all about being safe, hazards that exist with fireworks, and uh, some considerations you should have. Is it um, kind of sad? You have to remember Joe Pub remind Joe Public every year, hey, you know, yeah, it's fun to watch this stuff, but you can blow your hand off. Yeah, across the nation, um, the fire departments, medical services, hospitals, they're constantly dealing with this stuff um, around the time of 4th of July. Um, other considerations are not just the injuries that happen, um, there are also the considerations you'll have for members in our community that have PTSD, uh, animals in our community that are just get scared by these things. Um, so we want to put that message out on all fronts that yes, be safe when it comes to fireworks. Uh, know the appropriate times for using them, know the rules, and know there's enforcement coming that's going to have fines for them. Uh, the proper date and time is July 3rd and 4th from 11 uh, a.m. to 2 p.m. I'm sorry, I've been backwards. From uh, 11 o'clock a.m. to 2 a.m. I'm sorry. Um, that's the proper time for these uh, to be utilized, and that's it. Outside of that, there's going to be enforcement that the fire marshal can, can speak to.